from Cedarburg Public Library Radio. Welcome to Radio Storytime on CPL Radio. Today's theme is Vroom! Hi, I'm Mrs. K. And I'm Miss Heidi. Many times... When people think of radio, they think of music. What some don't realize is radio is so much more than music. Radio includes news programs, weather, sports, talk shows, and more. Radio even sells products. During the golden age of radio, products were highlighted in many programs as a form of sponsorship. Companies would help pay for radio programming if the programs would insert the product advertisements into their shows. As radio became more popular, more and more companies began making advertisements designed specifically to air on the radio. Some of these commercials were for vehicles and products for vehicle repair. Popular car brands such as Ford, Dodge, and Chevy all made commercials to air during old-time radio programming. Products like car batteries, spark plugs, and tires also appeared in radio advertisements. Today on Radio Storytime, we won't try to sell you a car. Instead, we will be sharing some stories about things that go vroom. So grab a comfy spot to relax and enjoy today's selections. Our first story is The Runaway No Wheeler by Peter Stein, published by Viking. Tony was a rugged truck who had a lot to haul. He'd load his rig and hit the road without a hitch or stall. That truck was strong, super fast, and always right on time. But then one day, disaster struck, when Tony slipped on slime. He swerved and he slid in with a skid on gooey gobs of green. Tony, who had 18 wheels, pop, now had 17. The road ahead was awful. Tony bumped and bounced. I I feel I'll lose another wheel, the troubled truck announced. Then the driving got much worse. The street was split and cracked. Then bing and bong! More wheels lost, two to be exact. Tony drove on 15 wheels along the countryside until he saw a mama duck with babies, Tony cried. Thinking fast and with a blast, he jumped above the chicks. And when he landed, boom! He'd lost wheels four and five and six. Tony had a job to do. There was no turning back. He clenched the grill and drove along straight into the black. Tony felt a painful yank caused by pulling pliers. And just like that, a gang of thieves had stolen three more tires. Nine wheels gone, nine wheels left. But Tony never stopped. Oh, on he went, a charging truck that wobbled, waved, and hopped. Bruised but strong, he cruised along and kept a steady pace. And then a smash. He somehow struck a rocket ship from space. Aliens swarmed the truck. They gobbled up five wheels. Thank you, Earthling, said the king. We eat wheels for meals. Tony almost lost control. How could this go on? Could he drive with four wheels left and 14 wheels gone? I must, he said. I can, he cried, weaving down the road. I am on time. Every time I will bring my load. And then, oh no, a nut popped off. A gear, a spring, a screw. This crazy trip had jarred them loose. What would Tony do? Yikes, he yelled. Three more wheels gone. Now I have just one. I'm out of whack. I can't hold back. Help, look out, run. But wait, he gasped, about to crash. Can it really be? Up ahead the building, I'll make delivery. His destination now in sight, Tony felt an urge. I'll try my hardest, said the truck, and made a mighty surge. Almost at the finish line, Tony hit a trowel, and then a wheel, his final wheel, silently fell off. 
You might think, well, that's the end. Tony's out of luck. But Tony didn't think that way. That dude is one tough truck. As his 18th wayward wheel landed who knows where, Tony hit the gas and leaped, flying through the air. After all those thrills and chills and hills he had to climb, fluffy chicks and awful thieves and aliens and slime. After losing all his wheels and caked in grease and grime, Tony landed loud and proud, shriek, exactly on time. Yes, exclaimed the tired truck, I'm finally off the road. And now to end a hard day's work, I'll dump this heavy load. The end. Now a word from our sponsor. This is Miss Heidi from the Youth Services Department of CPL to tell you about what's happening in the library. Spring break will be here before you know it, and CPL has some fun things planned. Expecto Patronum! Registration is available for our Coda Harry Potter wand in our Tinker Lab. This program will run March 19th through April 3rd. See our online calendar for details and available spots. Want to check out some books during the break but not sure what to get? Try our book match service. Fill out our book match form on the CPL website and our librarians will hand select some books for you to pick up and try. Curbside pickup is available upon request. Now, here's Mrs. K to tell you about next week's Grab and Go Bag and Flannel Friday. Thanks, Miss Heidi. It's finally spring. Our welcome spring grab and go bag will be available Thursday, March 25th, while supplies last. Enjoy a colorful craft and activities that celebrate springtime. Don't forget to grab some spring themed books when you pick up your bag. Get yours while supplies last. If you enjoyed today's radio program, don't forget to tune into Friday Flannels on our YouTube channel. This month's episode is Trains. It will be posted Friday, March 26th. Now back to our program. Our second story is Three Grumpy Trucks by Todd Tarpley, published by Little Brown Books for Young Readers, read by Miss Heidi. Across the sandbox, down the slide, through the sprinkler, side by side, three little trucks were scooping, shifting, grating, grinding, loading, lifting. Whir, 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 womp, womp, womp. Grind, 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 chomp, chomp, chomp. Hours later, bright sun beating, three tired engines overheating, fuel gauges running low, little trucks, it's time to, no, we're still digging, we're still lifting, we're still grinding, we're still shifting. Five more minutes, let us stay, okay, okay, okay? Okay. Whir, womp, grind, chomp. Hoses hissing, warnings beeping, red lights flashing, fluids seeping, fuses now about to blow. Little trucks, it's time to no! Must keep digging, must keep lifting, must keep scooping, must keep shifting. Tires smoking, engines glowing, must keep, must keep, must keep going. Please, little trucks, it's time to go. Your temp's too high, your feel's too low. Your windshield fluids are smelling strange. I think you need a wiper change. Okay, 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 we know. One more minute, then we'll go. One more minute, that's our plan. Everybody understand? Whir, womp, er, chomp. Engines smoking, motors failing, tailpipes clanging, rotors flailing, rocking wildly to and fro. Little trucks, it's time. Uh-oh. They made an awful screeching sound. They banged their bumpers on the ground. They stomped. They womped. They sparked, they spit, 
They honked, they bonked, they threw a fit. What could she do? What could she say? To calm them down? To save the day? She soothed the little truck's alarms, then gathered them into her arms. Their undersides were caked with oil, their bumpers dark with soot and soil. She told them home, still in a daze, then set them in their engine bays. Their spark plugs charged, their tires exchanged, their windshields washed, their wipers changed, their bumpers polished up and then three little trucks word once again. Tune in next time when our theme will be April showers. I'm Mrs. K. And I'm Miss Heidi. See, See you next time. time.